Do marriage prospects affect migrant flows? Consider a young man from a poor village in a developing country. He wants to migrate to a rich place like Europe for interesting jobs, good education, high quality health care, and a wife with higher education or social status. But the government sets a criterion to only allow the best migrants to settle down. If he passes the criterion, it is easier for him to find a good wife, maybe a migrant woman who needs his sponsorship. If he cannot pass a criterion, he may try to marry an unpopular local woman to, to settle down through marriage. It is at least better than being exploited as an illegal migrant. Given these marriage motives, can policymakers well control migration using merit-based criteria such as skill and investment levels? To study this question, I incorporate marriage choices in a migration model to analyze the policy impact due to marriage market adjustments. In the theoretical analysis, I show that if the policymaker relaxes the criterion only for the high-skilled migrants, the average migrant skill level can even decrease. With Chinese data, I analyze a case where migrants can get local status and local benefits right after migration. Neglecting marriage adjustments will underestimate the number of migrants in total and overestimate the number of highly educated migrants, for whom being a local no longer makes them as popular as before in the marriage market. To wrap up, to well-regulate migrant flows, do consider marriage responses. Thank you.